Now it's time to look at building our level. With a voxel selected, we're going to have a look at some of the voxel tools that enable us to build out a nice terrain and a nice level for us to walk around. So I've added the green painted concrete to my hotbar at the bottom and I want to add this to my game. So the first voxel tool that I'm presented with is the pen tool, which allows me to just add voxels into my game world. I can add those just by clicking anywhere on the voxel mesh. If I want to remove a voxel that I've added, with this tool selected, I can hold the middle mouse button and it should remove that voxel. You could change the size of this tool by scrolling the mouse wheel. If I scroll down, you'll see that it goes down to the smallest possible voxel size, which is one voxel. And if I scroll the mouse wheel up, I get a much larger size. So using this, I can essentially start to build out some kind of wall in my game world. I can also change the voxel tool that I'm currently using by pressing T on the keyboard. If I press T once, I now have the fill tool selected and you'll see that it's already highlighting the entire ground, which I could fill if I want to. Let's fill the entire ground with some nice sand. So I'm gonna press L to open my library. I'm gonna to navigate to the voxels tab. I'm gonna find sand inside the voxels tab here, which is a folder of lots of voxels and I can choose the particular type of sand that I might want to use. For me, I'm just going to use the churned up sand. So I'm going to select that, see that it's added to my hotbar, and then I'm going to close the library with L. With my fill tool selected and looking at the ground, I can now add all of that sand and hey presto, I'm walking on a beach. The next tool that I can take a look at is the extrude tool. This allows me to look at a particular face on any voxels that I'm currently have in my game world. So for example, I can highlight this edge of this wall here. And if I click and hold with the mouse and then look, I can extrude this. I can extrude it out by looking away from that wall or I can extrude it in by looking towards it. This can be handy for creating longer walls like this or for deleting entire sections like this. So I'm gonna drag this out so that my wall is a bit longer. And there we go, I've made a voxel wall. The next tool that I can have a look at is the grow and a road tool. So I've got a beach here and let's make it feel a little bit more, more natural. So to do that, I might have used the grow tool and left mouse button to grow some sections of the sand to make it feel less like it's just on one dimension. I can also erode with the right mouse button and this will add some patches of ground that have holes in. Grow and erode are fantastic tools for adding a little bit more naturalistic environment to your game world. That's it for all of the different types of voxel tools.